In this week's build roundup, we're going to be checking out a custom-made trellis, a ceiling speaker mount, holiday light show frames, a truck bed boat rack, and a grapevine arbor. All these builds are wildly different, but they do have one thing in common. They're made with EMT conduit and maker pipe clamps. In these roundups, we like to look at these different projects and showcase techniques and things within them that you can utilize no matter what you're building. With that said, let's jump right into it and check them out. First up is this really awesome trellis, and this was sent in by an anonymous customer. And they made this frame, as you can see, that just extends up and over their garden that they have here behind their house. And this is really cool. You can see that it's a really unique design. You know, we see a lot of box trellises in the community, but this is kind of a box, but they incorporated some bins in this instead of using connectors in the corner. So you can see the verticals just go up and then bend over and extend over the top of the garden and then connect to the other side and all of the verticals are connected in that way. And then they use the maker pipe fittings to add the bracing here and to add some of the cross support pipes from the front to the back and the side to side. Then it looks like they just secured some netting to the outside of the frame. You can do that with zip ties or it looks like they just tied them off, which is a really simple way to do that. And then here you can see they've got vines and things growing up the side of the trellis and it looks like they've got some vegetables growing here inside the frame, which is awesome. It's working out great. And you can see that the frame is supporting the weight of the vines and the vegetables. So that's really great. So thanks so much for sharing this. We really appreciate it. Next up is a ceiling speaker mount from Larry. This is really cool. Looks like they have a great space for watching movies and TV shows at home. And they wanted to mount some speakers. And as you can see, they mounted one to this ledge here, but the other side they needed to uh, mount it and it needed to be well below the ceiling because if it was too high up and mounted to the ceiling, then the sound would be off and it wouldn't really reverberate around the room the way it's supposed to. So basically they just used the adjustable angle maker pipe flange and that just extends a piece of conduit down to where it's level with this other speaker and they use another adjustable angle flange to actually bolt the speaker to this piece of conduit. Then they routed the cables for the stereo system through the ceiling and then down the conduit. So that's really cool. It's a nice clean setup to kind of get the ceiling mount or the speaker mounted to the ceiling without having it too high or way off to the side. They could get it exactly where they wanted for this setup. So super cool. Thanks so much for sharing this, Larry. Next up are a couple of holiday light show frames made by Jim. And he sent these in. I think this is a, a couple of frames that he made over the course of Halloween and Christmas last year. And this is the frame that you see here in the daytime, of course, but at night it holds this LED panel for the spider web, which is really cool. And it's just a simple kind of triangular frame where there's a panel in the front that supports the main, uh, you know, the main structure of the, of the spider web. And in the back, there's T connectors extending this back leg down. And this is what holds up the whole frame. And it's just a, a nice rack or system for supporting this LED panel. And you can see that he also did something similar for Christmas. It's a very similar frame, just a triangle design using T-connectors, and it supports the uh, different light bulbs that he's got here uh, for this uh, light show in Christmas. And that's really awesome. And he also shared a link to a video. Uh, it's just a time lapse of him creating this frame and also a mega tree that he put together for his Christmas show last year in 2022. I'll be sure to link this video down below so you can check it out if you're interested. That's really cool to see these, these things come together. And there on the roof, you can see that he's got the maker pipe frames to hold up the different uh, decor pieces. So super cool. Thanks so much for sending in these photos and video, Jim. We really appreciate it. Next up is a truck bed boat rack sent in by Jimmy. And he actually did a full build video, which is really awesome. We appreciate him doing that. It's a full tutorial for his Ranger. He made this boat rack that goes over top of the soft top. So obviously, if you didn't have this frame here, if you try to put the boat on top, it's gonna to be sitting on top of this soft top frame. And those aren't really made to support things. They're just made to provide a soft cover over the truck bed. But if you need to haul stuff, you're kind of limited to the space in the truck bed now, which isn't that much space. That's why he made this custom rack that extends over the soft top. And he can put the rack or the boat on top of this rack it extends over the cab of the truck and over the soft top and protects it and still gives you the storage space 
inside the truck bed. So it's super cool. And he did a full video tutorial on how to make this frame using EMT conduit and maker pipe. And if you're making one specifically for a Ford Ranger like he is, then his dimensions and the parts and everything, you can make uh, follow his steps exactly and make the exact same thing, which is super cool. So we really appreciate him sending in that video. And again, I'll link his video down in the description if you want to check it out and just see how he put it together or if you want to make the exact same thing. Thanks so much for sharing that with us, Jimmy. We appreciate it. Last but not least this week is a grapevine arbor from Ron. This is really cool. It's a simple structure. It's just six total verticals, three of them secured to the wall with one hole straps. And then the other side secures to the fence panels with, again, I think one hole straps there, as you can see. And it's just a rectangular frame. There's T connectors in the middle here and then nine degree connectors on the corner. And what's really cool about this technique is he added some nine gauge wire from one side of the frame to the other. And then he got some of the landscaping edging. You know, you've probably seen that like small, it's like, I think he said it's like three inches tall. It's just that black vinyl, like fence, I guess you call it, uh, or edging, as he said, that goes around the gardens. If you're doing some landscaping and you want to, you know, kind of encapsulate your garden beds and put that little barrier around them, then you've probably seen those and that they it works great for that. But he repurposed it and kind of weaved that in and out of the nine gauge wire to give the grapevine something to grab onto. So really simple structure. As you can see here, here's the main frame. There's the wire that he strung from one side to the other. And then there is the edging that he wove in between the wire. Super cool build, nice and simple, but it's gonna work great once the grapevines climb up and you'll be able to walk under this and have a really cool walkway in this area. So super cool. Thanks so much for sharing that. And thanks to everybody for posting your builds. As always, we love seeing them and love doing these roundup episodes. If you want to share your build, you can post it in the community or send it to us through text or email. There's all kinds of different ways and we'd love to see what you're working on. Thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next video.